Joining us now, Michigan Congressman Peter Hoekstra, ranking Republican on the House Intelligence Committee. Uh, Congressman, thanks so much. Do you, what is your posture going into these meetings on Thursday as to what the United States should try to achieve? Well, obviously, we want to move the ball down the field. I think the interesting thing here was the decision that the Obama administration made perhaps weeks or months ago that they wanted to enter into these talks uh, with Iran probably being fully aware that this secret facility existed uh, and they were willing to move forward unconditionally. Now that they've committed to doing these meetings or this meeting on Thursday, uh, they probably have no choice but to move forward even though they, uh, the Iranians engage in the missile test uh, over the weekend. Uh, the disclosure of this facility became more public, uh, but you know they're locked in. They got to go on Thursday and then let's see what comes out of that. Uh, Robert Gates said over the weekend that there is really no military option, that it would slow them down, but it would not eliminate the nuclear program. Senator Feinstein on the Senate Intelligence Chair said the same thing. Is it your conclusion as well that there really is no military option, that the only option is to uh, align the world against Iran through tough sanctions? Yeah, I made that uh, observation probably four months ago that the question now with Iran uh, or the questions we now need, now need to deal with Iran is realizing that they're going to have a nuclear weapon. The only question is when and then how the rest of the world is going to respond to a nuclear Iran. Uh, the United States has not had an effective strategy to delay or confront uh, the development of a nuclear weapon in Iran. The world appears to have been ready only if there's dramatic action, probably something short of military action uh, over the coming weeks, over the coming months, uh, will we be able to stop Iran from getting nuclear weapons. But I think it's very, very unlikely. Do you think that the, the sanctions can be made tough enough to hurt Iran without hurting the Iranian people? No, I think that if you put uh, tough economic sanctions on, what a regime like this will do, what the regimes in North Korea have done, uh, is they will make sure that it is the Iranian people that will be hurting. That will then give them the, you know, the, the opportunity to go on international television and show the, how if we get tough sanctions, how what the Russians, the Chinese, the Americans, and what the Europeans are doing is hurting the Iranian people and is really not stopping uh, or changing their strategic direction. Of course, uh, the Iranian government will make sure that it is their people uh, that are the ones that suffer and that they will probably not change their strategy. So what are the options then? What can the U.S. do? And, and do you think that Russia will eventually come on board and China? Well, I, I'm still very skeptical that the Russians and the Chinese are going to come on board. Uh, if they were really serious about making sure that Iran did not acquire a nuclear weapon, uh, they would have come on board a long time ago. Uh, they chose not to do that. Our options are very, very limited because there is not that consensus in the world community that a nuclear Iran is a bad thing. They may be, I think what you see is the Russians and the Chinese may be neutral to it, or maybe they're finally getting to the point where they're say, wow, this is really going to happen, but it may be too late. I'm not sure there are any good options at this point in time. Uh, a pretty grim outlook there. Thank you very much, though, Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, Great. Thank you. Uh, it's always good to talk to you. We appreciate it.